Hi everyone, welcome back to the second video of the Python Turtle series. Today's topic for loops and comments. In this video we're going to learn how to shorten your program by removing repeating lines of code using for loops. Also we will add comments to your code to make it more readable and implement set position and speed commands to solve more complicated problems. So let's get started. In the exercise number 2 which was given in the previous lesson, we must draw a dashed line across the x-axis. When you completed this task, you wrote 23 lines of code in order to get the result we are looking for. You wrote these lines of code to make one line with blank space. After, you have copied this four more times to make the rest of the lines. What if we had a way to just tell our turtle to repeat this section of code? Well, we do. Four loops are used to repeat code for a fixed number of times. So instead of copying and pasting to create your caterpillar with five circles, you can just tell the turtle to repeat the code to make a circle five times. This helps us a lot when we need to repeat something many times, because all we need to do is write how many times we want the code to repeat. Making a caterpillar with 100 circles is now as easy as making one with five. Loops help us by shortening our code, which is something all programmers want to do, because this makes our code easier to read. Using this code will shorten our program from 20 lines of code to 6 lines. One of the other benefits of using a loop is that it becomes much easier to change our code when needed. What if we wanted to make a fatter caterpillar where each circle had a radius of 30 pixels? In order to do this using our initial code, we must fix 5 lines of code. In our looped code, fixing one line is enough. Before we can start using loops, we need to know exactly how to write them so the turtle will understand. To tell the turtle to repeat something, we need to begin by writing this phrase, for i in range, and put a number in parentheses. We need to end the phrase with a column. It's important to know that you must add indentation to the lines of code you want to repeat. In other words, select lines after for loop that you want to repeat and press tab button on your keyboard. If you want to remove indentation in some lines of code, simply press shift tab button. This complete phrase communicates to our turtle that whatever we write below with indentation, it's code we want to repeat based on a number we wrote in parentheses. Let's look at our caterpillar exercise. The important thing is before we draw something, you must put your pen down, and after you have finished drawing, you must immediately put your pen up. So you won't be figuring out if the pen is up or down in the current line of code. So in this exercise, we will put the pen down, draw a circle, put the pen up, and move forward. And we want to repeat these four lines of code five times. We write this code by using for i in range and number 5 in parentheses, then put a column. And then writing all the commands we want the turtle to repeat below it by adding indentation. Let's look at the star exercise and see how we can use loops in this case. In order to have the turtle draw a star, we must type forward 150 and write 144 five times. We know we can write our code this way, but is it the best way to write this program? Now we know about loops, so there is a better way. Let's write our loop for i in range and add indentation to the code we want to repeat. And we will delete all the commands below which are not indented because now we don't need them. Let's check the result. And everything is good. It's important to remember that there are many ways to solve problems. Maybe one way will be better than another, like we can see in this exercise. Next, we are going to learn why comments are useful and how to write them in Python. Comments are phrases or sentences we enter in code to give information or direction to anyone looking at it. We have learned that computers can only understand comments when we write them in correct syntax. For someone looking at our code written in a programming language, it may be difficult to understand what the code is saying. In our comments we can use English, which makes it easier for us to communicate with other people rather than computers. It's important to know that comments are completely ignored by the computer, so they won't have any effect on the way your code runs. Comments are important to anyone looking into your code. They can help you by keeping track of your decisions that you are making while you're trying to solve the problem, 
As problems get more advanced, they may take you multiple days, and if you don't write these comments to yourself, you might forget what your plan of action was in finding a solution. Comments also help others by describing what your code does and how. If you use the loop in your code, you may want to write what the loop is doing and why in a comment. Leaving remarks through your code makes it easier for others to understand, change, or add to your code. It may seem unnecessary while your problems start pretty short and straightforward, but it is a habit to create now, for the challenges you face will only get more complicated. It's also easier for your teacher to help you find a solution if you get stuck if you have included comments in your code. There are two types of comments you can write in Python. An inline comment and multi-line comment. Inline comments can be used in your code, place it anywhere you think will be helpful to record information. To write an inline comment, start the line with a hashtag and then type your comment next to it. Now all the comments in that line will be totally ignored by the computer. Multi-line comments should be used as the beginning of your code to describe the problem that the code is solving. To write multiple line comments, we type three quotation marks in a row and then start a comment on the next line. Below the last line of your comment, type three quotation marks again to end the comment. So the computer can read the comments after the multi-line comment. Let's look at the writing comments in our editor. Let's go to our column task and write some comments to describe what is happening in this code. In the beginning, we want to enter a multi-line comment describing what the code will do. We will start with three quotation marks and then enter a comment below something like, this program will split the canvas up into four columns. Canvas has 500 pixels width, so this program draws four rectangles in a row, 125 pixels wide each. And I can separate this because it's multi-line comment. We want to end our comment with three more quotation marks now we want to add some inline comments to describe what's happening throughout the code. Let's write our first inline comment before we move the turtle to the starting position to let someone know why we are calling this comment. So I can write a hashtag and then our comments which could be move the turtle to the top left corner. Let's add a comment before our loop to say what the loop is doing. So I can write draw four rectangles with 125 pixels width and 500 pixels length in a row. Before finishing this lesson, let's learn a few more comments that will make it easier for us to write more advanced programs. We can more immediately move the turtle around the grid world by using the set position command, which will have our turtle move directly to that coordinate in a straight line. It's important to mention that if you have not called the pen up command before using set position command, it will leave a trail as it goes from current position to the position you have called. You will notice that the direction of our turtle is facing does not change when you set its position. So if it was facing right before the command was called, it will be still facing right after moving. We have another command that doesn't have to do with moving our turtle, but will make it a lot easier for us to code larger problems. That's the speed command. You can call this command at the beginning of your code to set the speed for the entire program or call it again in the middle of your program to just slow down or speed up a certain section of your code. To use the speed command, you type a number from 0 to 10 in parentheses, a speed 1 is the slowest and speed 10 is very fast and 0 is almost immediate. Let's go again to our previous exercise to implement this code. Like you already know, the first part of this program sets the starting position to the turtle. So I can replace these lines of code with set position, negative 250, 250 command. And also at the beginning of my program, I can type speed 4 command to slow down my program so I can see the flow of my code. Now let's sum up what we have learned in this lesson. So we have learned for loop command, which allows us to repeat the section of indented code. Also, we have learned how to write multi-line and inline comments and why it's important to use them. Set position command also allows us to move the turtle to a specified coordinate. And also how to slow down or speed up the flow of our code by using speed command. Now it's your turn to work. 
You can download this presentation in the description part of this video. At the end of the presentation, I have prepared for you four exercises so that you can review and implement what we have learned. Also, I recommend you to read the article in the resources part of the presentation so you can stay motivated while you are learning the Python programming language. If you have some questions, feel free to write them in the comment section below. Wish you good luck. See you next lesson.